hello everyone welcome to my channel j networks and technologies in this video we'll look at tcp connection establishment and termination this is one of the most important topics in network communications as well as in uh, ethical hacking perspective this is because to be a good ethical hacker we need to know how the connection establishes between a client and server client and server connection establishment and then how the connection terminates between them so so the tcp connection establishment occurs before any other tcp features can begin their work connection establishment refers to the process of um, initializing sequence and acknowledgement fields the one which i have explained in my previous videos you can click on the above link and then find out how the acknowledgement and sequence number work in the tcp header all right and then agreeing on the port numbers used in the tcp connection so this three-way connection established flow is also called as three-way handshake the connection exists between two sockets although the tcp header has no single socket field of the three parts of a socket the IP address or implied on the base on the source and destination IP addresses in the IP header. TCP is implied because of a TCP header is in use as specified by the protocol field in the IP header. Therefore, the only parts of a socket that needs to be encoded in TCP header are the port numbers. So if you see my previous videos on uh, TCP header, we have a field called destination port and source port so these are the only two ports that will define the function of a socket socket that is because this is tcp header and the tcp header will be encapsulated in a ip header the ip header will have something called as destination ip and source IP so the socket comprises the IP destination and source IP address the protocol that is TCP and the port numbers destination and source numbers so this two fields or these two headers come will become a socket so along with the t destination port and source port inside the tcp header th there are two other fields called as sin flag and ack flag so if you want to clearly understand how the sin and ack flags communicate or used in the communication of source that is client and server or two computers so uh, the first packet is sent by the client to server to initiate a communication so as you can see here this is a person sitting on a pc and then the person is sending a initial packet the initial packet will be a sin packet so to know whether the packet is a sin or acknowledgement packet if the sin bit is turned on in the tcp header then then that means that is a sin packet and the destination port will be port 80 because the user is trying to communicate with the web server the web server listens on port number 80 and s port the source port is 49115 sorry 49155 for the client to initiate a communication with the server there should be a source port because on the same source port the web server will respond to so you can see the, after the web server receives this first packet the second packet will be initiated by web server and in that the tcp header will have two fields as on that is sin and ack so both will be on in the web server field so that the client will understand that is that this is the acknowledgement for the sin packet that i have sent so how does the client and server identify to which sin packet which acknowledgement packet came they have something called as sequence numbers based on the sequence numbers 
they will understand for example let us say this has a sequence number of one so the web server will respond with the acknowledgement number of one so that it will so the client will understand okay this acknowledgement packet is for the sin packet with a sequence number one which i have sent it initially and then the web server will add its own random sequence number let us say that is 234 so the second packet will have source port as 80 because it is responding from the web server and destination port would be 49155 because this port 49155 will be corresponding to the browser session browser session so and this communication will be completely managed by something called as multiplexing the concept of multiplexing i have explained in this video you can click here and then understand the multiplexing concept so the third packet again would be sent by the client and it will send an acknowledgement for the sin it received so this is the sin number 234 sequence number 234 so it will add its own sequence number so 234 to the third packet and send it to the destination port so it will go to the web server and again the source port would be 49155 that means that the web server will receive this packet and open the packet and see that oh this is 234 so the client is sending an acknowledgement for the sin i have sent so this three way step so one two and three is called as three way handshake so in this way the tcp handshake happens and this session is established so this you can see this is a session established between the client and the web server and then whatever the web browser request for example google.com or yahoo.com any website the response will be given in this session so now let's move on to the closing of the session this is in this is an establishment of session and then the session will be closed in a graceful manner where both client and server will be informing each other that i am going to close the session and the web server will also inform that okay go ahead and close the session the next diagram will show how a session gets closed within a tcp uh, communication so here is the diagram which explains the session closing process that happens in a TCP connection. Okay, this four-way termination sequence is straightforward and uses an additional flag called as FinBit. So, in the TCP header we have seen SIN, acknowledgement, and this is the third bit that represents FinBit or also called as Finish. All right before uh, the device on pc is a web server and this browser has requested some uh, website like google.com it has browsed all the information that required and the pc wants to close this session so what it does is it sends an acknowledgement and a fin finish so this acknowledgement is for the previous packet that was sent by the server so the server would have sent a scene here and then acknowledgement to the packet that was sent previously by this pc so the scene goes till the beginning of the packets so this acknowledgement is for this scene that was sent by the pc all right i'm sorry this sin is for the this sin was sent by the okay then the client that sends a acknowledgement and finish bit as indicating that i want to finish this session so the server will respond by giving an acknowledgement for this fin so this act packet acknowledgement packet that will be set as one in the tcp header will be for this finish and again send a finish termination or the finish bit 
in a separate packet and gives an acknowledgement for the previous sin sent by the PC. So what we find is the first packet would be acknowledgement for the previous sin and then there will be a finish bit saying that I want to finish the termination. The server will send an acknowledgement for the finish that was given by the client and then again sends an acknowledgement and finish to the PC that is a client and then in the end the PC gives an acknowledgement for this finish so this is four steps one two three and four this four-way handshake that happens for the closure of the session so this four-way handshake or graceful termination this graceful this is called as also called as graceful termination happens only in TCP UDP does not have this feature because many protocols operators under the same concept so the terms connection oriented and connection less are used to refer to the general idea of each that is the reason we have two terms called as connection oriented protocol connection oriented and connection less protocol so this is TCP and this is UDP so connection oriented protocol is the one that requires an exchange of messages the messages which I have told you the three-way handshake and this four-way handshake before the data transfer begins or that has a pre-required pre-established correlation between the two endpoints so there should be a correlation there should be a session and the connection less protocol that is UDP is a protocol that requires no exchange of messages so there are no exchange of messages for a session to be established and then it does not require a pre-established uh, connection or correlation between the endpoints so this particular TCP closure is very important in the perspective of uh, uh, attacks network based attacks for example a hacker what he does is he sends only sin packets to this PC or the server again he sends another sin packet and sin packets and he does not send this fin packet for the closure of the session so what it what happens the server will have hundreds or even thousands or even millions of sessions open so what happens is it does eats up all the buffer inside the server so this is called as half open session sending just a sin packet and does not responding to the acknowledgement sent by the server that is called as a half open connection or only sin connection or this is also called as a sin flood attack so the sessions if the PC is not able to close these sessions then there would be these hundreds and thousands of sessions open and the buffer will be completely full and the server would stop responding to any other users for example if let us say this is a web server and if only one of the PC is sending uh, millions of sin foot packets and there will be a kind of DOS attack on the server so this is very important to know how the session established and how the session closes for example if you want to write a script mostly Python script to do a DOS attack on any server if we know that the server is not having any firewall and before that so we can write a script to just send sin packets and does not respond to the acknowledgements or we can also write a, a script that will send sin and acknowledgement to the server so that the server will be keeping these sessions open and we do not send a finish packet so the sessions would not be closed so this is one of the several examples that can be exploited in the TCP connection hope you have got information about the TCP connection establishment and termination from this video if you like this video please like and share and subscribe to my channel thank you